Good morning, you guys. How are you doing? In today's video, I will be taking you with me for my day and answering some of your questions that you asked me on my Instagram. You can follow me here. I would love to see you there. And yeah, we're gonna do that. They're gonna be about wellness, about my move to LA. We're just gonna chat. I just came back from my workout class. I went to a library class. It's basically like performer Pilates, but I would say a tiny bit harder. And it's, it's like, like the machine is slightly different but my body is so sore the next day. Like I can literally, I cannot move any part of my body the next day. So I have to say, I kind of love it because you know, sore muscles give you this, this satisfaction of like, wow, I actually worked my body. I actually challenge it. So I really like it. I try to do it like once a week and actually that ties to the first question that you guys asked me. And it is, what is my current uh, workout routine? So to be honest, I don't really track it as much. I try to listen to my body as much as I can and just do what I feel like doing. If I really, really don't feel like working out and it's like, oh, I'm just so tired, I'm just so sore and I really don't wanna do anything, then I don't do anything. It's taken me a long time to get to this point and I'm so glad I did because I feel like I'm doing something good for my body. It's not like my the workouts are there to punish my body or to push my body in some crazy ass places. It's more to take care of it, you know? Know, and so if my body needs rest, I'm gonna take rest. But about workouts, I've recently been really into like bar, pilates, um, lagri. I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of like very slow and like, you know, low paced workouts. I am more like, you know, let's do this shit kind of girl. You know, like I, I wanna move. I wanna feel like I'm moving. That's why pilates is more like for, for those days where I'm like, oh, I'm kind of tired. Whereas bar, which is a tiny bit more intense and like you actually like, put your heart rate up and everything. It's, it's, yeah, I've been really getting into bar, I have to say, I'm doing it actually, most of my workouts, most of my bar workouts are on Cycle London's website. Cycle, if you don't know, it's my favorite workout studio in London. I go there pretty much every single week. I mean, now I'm in LA, so I don't. But yeah, I work out on their workout platforms called Cycle at Home, and I do bar classes there, and I love them so much. So recently I've been really leaning into maybe a bit lower impact uh, kind of workouts, less hit, less cardio, more of like those workouts that engage those deeper muscles. So yeah, this is my workout routine. I work out about five to six times a week, I'd say sometimes four if, if something doesn't work out, uh, but yeah. And the second question that you guys asked me is what are my goals for the next months? So if you guys don't know, I just moved to LA from London. And so for the last few weeks i was really like trying to kind of settle down here and slide into my routine again and it was super fun i have to say that it's like la is so great but at the same time you know i'm starting, I'm starting to realize like i don't know if it's a city for me i think i prefer london but i'm gonna talk about it a bit later because there are some questions about it but what are my goals my big goal and I, I i haven't said it anywhere else so you guys are first youtube is first i am gonna be doing a personal trainer qualification or bar i'm i'm trying to figure out what type of certification i want to do whether i want to do like bar or just fitness instructor and then bar or like what do i want to do or just personal trainer i don't know just yet but i wanna i wanna do that certification i wanna have qualifications to do something more into like fitness field of wellness um and share with you guys this journey with me so i'm super excited this is one of my biggest goals for for the next few months and also just meeting more people in la and making the most out of the time that i have here but at the same time not putting that pressure on myself that I have to do as much as I can before I go back to Europe because that's that's not the whole point you know I want to enjoy that time and I want to just experience that city as much as I can so these are my two big goals obviously I still want to develop my content because recently I've been getting more into like slightly longer form content so you know not 10 seconds maybe 20 or 30 you know I've been really liking it and I've been liking watching it as well so I want to lean more into that, learn how to do it, and yeah, these are pretty much my goals, but I think the biggest one is, as I said, um, getting those qualifications, those personal trainer, trainer, whatever qualifications. But yeah, now I am gonna make myself some coffee because I'm so freaking tired after like a week, even though it's not like a very intense workout, it just engages your muscles and you're so tired afterwards. So I'm gonna make myself coffee, I'm gonna do my assignment because there's another assignment coming and I need to get it done. And yeah, and I'm just gonna take you with me for the day and I'm gonna answer some more questions along the way.
I just finished my little study session. I am pretty much halfway, I'd say. So it's not bad, it's not bad. But I said it's time to answer another question you guys asked me. And this one is, I have no motivation in life right now any tips okay of course i'm gonna help you i'm gonna try to spill some inspiration for you so i would say one of the biggest things here is getting out of your comfort zone because in those moments when you don't have motivation to do anything you don't have motivation to live or like do your the, the simplest tasks it's important to not let yourself stay in that state okay so even though you have no motivation you have no willingness to do anything you have to push yourself to do things even the smallest things because if there is no change there is no change you know you have to push yourself to do not the biggest things you don't have to go back to normal just like straight away but just push yourself to do something you know and i think a big thing here is not forcing yourself to get back to your routine straight away i'll say start slow maybe think of and write down a list of things that make you happy little things that make you happy maybe it's going out for a coffee with your friend maybe it's spending time with your family going to a park with your family Family or going for a walk with your dog at the weekend something that things those actions that make you happy that make you feel content I want you to pick one thing every day or one thing every other day and do those things do those things that make you feel good that give your life some sense and like some happiness some emotions you know and then I would also think about habits that you had before you got into the slump and think of the ones that were making the biggest difference for you that were making you feel really good that way like those game changers for you it can be something different for everyone truly like for me i think meditation is one of them like it calms down my mind and make me more present or gratitude is also a big one for me and start slowly implementing those habits start with one start with one don't push yourself to go anywhere else just start with one start slowly implementing them back to your life and getting back on track but very slowly so you don't overwhelm yourself once you push yourself out of this comfort zone own and you force yourself in a way to start doing those things that were making you happy that were giving you that motivation in the past you'll slowly start seeing the change i'm not saying it's gonna be quick i'm not saying it's gonna it's not a quick fix you know but over time you're gonna start seeing the difference and that's what we are looking for As you can see, I just made the best sandwiches for lunch. I literally, I w I've been craving sandwiches for so long. And a few days ago, I made them for the first time. I was like, oh my goodness, that's like the best thing in the world. And so I have to recreate them again today. And honestly, like, heaven it's heaven even though like as a child i used to hate sandwiches because i would eat them every single day to school now they are making a big comeback i feel like you know but okay let's move on to the next question and the next question is about balance with eating and you guys asked me how do i keep balance between eating healthy and treating yourself so i think the biggest mindset shift that helped me do that is realizing that food is not only fuel it's also a thing that connects people a thing that gives us pleasure that makes our life more enjoyable you know and i learned that not listening to my cravings and only sticking to you know healthy diet and ignoring all of my like little cravings for like a cookie or, or eating out even just brings more negative effects than actually allowing myself to eat out or allowing myself to eat that cookie. Because if I reject the craving that I have and I'm like, okay, so I'm craving a cookie, but you know, but I eat a day that I'm still not satisfied because I wanted a cookie. So I keep on eating those healthy things, but I keep on eating and eating and eating and eating. But nothing satisfies me because I want a cookie. I don't want to date. I don't want a banana. I don't want a peanut butter and banana sandwich. I want a cookie. And so, at the end of the day, I'm going to eat so much more and still feel not satisfied just because I was like, nope, I can't eat a cookie because it's unhealthy. It's just not logical. So realizing that me honoring my cravings is going to be so much more beneficial for both my physical and mental health 
was a big game changer. And I think it's just so personal and your diet is gonna look completely different compared to someone else's and you can't compare your diets because your lifestyles are so different in so many different ways. And I always say that even if you think that this person lives the same lifestyle as you, they don't. Trust me, they don't. Your body is so different. Your life is so different. So don't compare your diet to someone else's. But it's about making healthy choices on a daily basis. So let's, for example, for breakfast, make sure that you eat something that fuels you, that gives you energy and gives you this good energy, this all the nutrients that you need. You don't want to go into extremes. You want to let yourself eat out some days. You want to let yourself order takeout some days if you feel like it. It can, it can be pasta, it can be burger, it can be something. It's about making healthy choices on a daily basis while allowing yourself for those little treats in between the meals, you know? So I don't feel guilty or I don't feel like I'm not practicing a balanced diet if I order out some days or if I eat some cookies some days because I know that on a daily basis I make healthy choices. I make choices that are good for my body and so I know that most of my diet is healthy and I can allow those treats or those whatever it is that you're craving, okay? I've been thinking about good times So tell me all your words I believe them if I try For the sake of time Just give me your eye Hey guys, we are back at home and I decided I'm gonna answer the last two questions and this time we're gonna talk about LA, my move and how I like it here. So, first question is how do I like LA? How is LA? How do I like LA? I like it a lot. I have to say it is different to what I've experienced so far, you know, in Europe. The whole US, you know, I mean, I can't really speak about US as a whole, but LA is definitely different. It's much bigger in scale with everything, if you know what I mean. Like for those of you who know, I lived in Poland up until I was 16 and it was like very small scale, kind of local, you could say. Then I moved to London and London was already like higher in scale, like everything was just bigger, you could say. And here it is a totally different level, um, which has its pros and cons, I would say. But overall, like, the weather is wonderful. Maybe not right now, because now it just started raining. Uh, we got lucky with coming back home right now. But the weather is lovely. It's so warm. There is so much nature. You know, if you want to find nature, you can just go 15 minutes by car and you have nature in its purest form, which is so wonderful. Like, I'm loving being able to go to hikes and everything, which is not a very common thing for me to do in London. And I feel like in London, it's more more like developed in a way of like there are authorities taking care of it doesn't like you know cutting the loans and everything whereas here is just more wild which i like i have to say i feel like there is also lots of opportunities here and just the vibe is so much different which is something i really needed when i decided to move here so i'm really glad that i came but with that being said um we can move to the next question which is la versus london which one do i prefer and i have to say that after i've been here for about slightly over a month now so like one month and a week maybe and I have to say that I'm starting to miss London I am starting to miss London I really like guys you can find me eating my breakfast and literally just watching videos from like you know like walks around my area or something yeah it's 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 getting pretty intense my my longing to London as I said there are so many advantages to LA and I really like the city and I will definitely be back because I'm gonna be eventually going to your, back to Europe you know but I think London I just feel safer in London this is one thing there are lots of mentally challenged people here as well as just drug addicts and you know all those things and as a woman I just don't always feel very safe on the streets even though I don't live in like a super weird and like dangerous area it's not that it's just that you know there's just so many people you come across and not all of them are just like mentally stable you can say and it's just it can get scary and you feel threatened sometimes also i just sometimes feel pressure like those people are just running around you can see all of those super rich but also super poor people and this pressure is real like to you know hustle and work and work on your career which can be positive but it can also be quite negative in some instances and i feel in london even though there is still a lot of pressure because it's also i would say it's kind of like a capital city of europe for any career opportunities and anything i still think they are more laid back and like yeah just more laid back and like chill which i really like and also the architecture in london is much more beautiful especially in my area yeah 
that's why I just think I, I really love London and I will be back in London and I want to go back there. I'm really looking forward to it, even though LA also has so many beautiful aspects to it. But yeah, if I were to choose LA versus London, I think I would choose London anyways. Yeah, I'm a London girl. I'm a London girl, guys. But okay, um, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. You know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video next week. Oh,